Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you enjoy watching adorable guinea pigs, learning how to care for them, seeing product hauls or reviews, and anything else guinea pig related, please subscribe and turn on that notification bell to never miss a video. Hi guys, Skinny Pigs one here. So today's video, are, we are doing a review for you. So this is the Lavoie Hybrid Ultrasonic Humidifier LV600HH. So we were sent this for the purpose of review and I agreed to do so because I use this already. So I know all about it and I actually really enjoy it. So as you know, I purchased it last year to go into the pet room so I would keep the humidity levels comfortable in the winter here in Canada. They can get really dry with the furnace constantly running because Canada's cold. So there is a coupon code for you guys to get 10% off if you want to purchase this unit. I will leave that in the description box. So let's unbox this and go through the different parts and features. So first let's talk about the key features that are on the box here. So quiet ultrasonic diffusion. I can definitely vouch for this being extremely quiet so you could put it in a baby's room or in your bedroom and it's not going to bother you. Automatic humidifying mode so you can set this up. There's tons of different features we will go through for it to come on automatically and to shut off when it needs to. You can have warm and cool mist functions. Dual 360 mist nozzles so there's a couple nozzles on top again I'll show you that you could have mist going all around. There is a 12 hour timer setting, so if you want it to be on for 12 hours and shut off, you can. Automatic low water level shut off protection. So once it runs out of water, it does shut off and waits for you to refill it before it turns back on. So let's take this bad boy out of the box. So you are sent with a whole Q&A questionnaire, so common things that you might be wondering, you got the answers to those. So now we have everything out of the box, let's go over what we have. So here are spare filters that it comes with. This is for the aromatherapy part, I'll show you where that's located. This is just to filter the water that's going to be coming out of the mister. There's a little scrubby type of brush to clean out. You get a controller, which is really nice. This is the top mister that we will show in two seconds. So over here, here's your main water filter that you can change. And this is where the mist is going to come up out of. So we gotta snap that in. So this is the tank that holds your water. There's a cap that you unscrew. It holds six liters of water. And it shows on here that the max is to fill it right up to this line. I put filtered water in here to help with less um, debris being in there. So once you have your tank filled, it's very easy to set it up. So it fits in there super easy, super nice. So there is a handle that you just pull it up very easily. And then you pop on your little mister. So the mister you can have one going one way, the other way. You can set it up however you like. They twirl all around. So there is a function here where you can do aromatherapy. Personally, I never used it since I use it in the pet room and scents are very dangerous to the guinea pigs. But you can take this out. And right there is your little pad to put your aromatherapy drops on, whatever scent you like. If you're using it in your room and you like lavender, that's supposed to be very calming for sleeping. So they do send you with a couple extra pads. So you would put a couple drops on there and pop it back in. And that's as simple as it is to have nice aromatherapy going. So next, let's talk about the functions on the front of here. And just remember that these are all on your little controller as well. So first, 
oh hey, I can see you in the reflection. You have your on off button, self explanatory. The thing to note for that though, is when you have a program going and you shut it off, once you turn it back on, it remembers what program you had going. There's the miss level, you can have one, two, or three. Personally, I always had it set at level three. I found it needed to be at three to keep the humidity level at what I wanted it to be. You can have it set to warm, so there's different degrees of warm. I never used the warm misting only because I found it went through the tank of water a lot quicker than when you just have it at regular temperature. So when I first started using this, I would have to change the tank every 12 hours. And then after about three days, it started to be able to keep the humidity level better and I would change it once every 24 hours. So just be prepared for the first couple days while it's trying to get your humidity levels up that you're gonna change it pretty frequently. But the nice thing is once the water does run out, if you're not around, it automatically shuts off until you come back and fill the water up again. So next we have the humidity level. So this is between 40 and 80%. I personally kept the guinea pig room at 40%. That felt comfortable enough. I have hay in there. I didn't want the humidity to be any higher. So it was very easy to use this. You just press it, it turns it on. You just keep pressing it till you find the humidity level you want. And it flashes five times and then it'll stick with that humidity. And then if you wanna get out of that screen, you just hold it for three seconds. So you have a timer function that you can use as well. You can time it for being on anywhere from one hour to 12 hours, but personally, I'd rather control the humidity. And then there's auto. So if you're gonna hit the auto button, it's gonna automatically come on and off to keep the levels around 65. So this, and then you have the auto button. So the auto button is going to automatically keep the percent between 55 and 68. So that's again higher than what I wanted it for. So I use my own humidity. 